All right. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you a couple of uh, videos, images and uh, voice uh, messages that I received from people who are based in uh, UAE. OK, uh, the reason I'm sharing this with you is so that um, you at least have access to information uh, that is not published in the media, as you are aware of the fact that uh, UAE and the UAE government is very particular about its image to make sure it is portrayed as, you know, positive. The branding should be, uh, you know, the land of uh, luxury, the land of brands, the land of business opportunities, which is not wrong. OK, I'm, I'm not against that. Um, however, it is very important that you balance it out with the truth. OK, now uh, I did get some criticisms, which were you can check in the comment section. And funny enough, uh, people put the comments and then they delete it. I don't know why. And the funniest one is the, the here's the odd part of the whole thing. Uh, Emiratis are not uh, like cursing me or shouting at me or saying anything bad. It is our Indians who are based in UAE who are getting affected the most. I got one lady who is like, uh, you know, stop sharing fake news. Uh, the amazing UAE government uh, cleaned up everything in, 20, in 48 hours and now everything is perfect. There is no flood. Stop sharing fake videos. Then there was another lady who said uh, uh, we have to report this man to the what? the cyber crime authority of the world or cyber crime authority of some of this thing. Then there was another guy. Dubai is my motherland and uh, stop uh, talking uh, crap about my motherland and bye bye. What motherland? <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, one other guy, all Indians unite against this evil guy. Uh, you look like a freak. You're the devil and OK, whatever. In fact, one other person shared a video of, uh, of a Emirati, I don't know, businessman or influencer. I will not show who is he. I will not, uh, you know, due respect to the guy. Very highly educated, good number of followers on Instagram. I think he posted this video stating that he is showing his face and he's saying, uh, my brothers and sisters, I am an Emirati from UAE. You can see the sun is shining. It's a beautiful, bright day. Uh, I just want to address all the false narratives and the fake news that is there. Uh, yes, there was heavy rain. Yes, there was a little bit of he, he's saying actually a little bit of flooding and all these influencers who are desperate for views and these uh, international media companies that are jealous of uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing jealous of UAE success. They just zoomed in in few areas where there was little bit of water. They zoomed in those areas and uh, they used uh, software to make it look as if Dubai was destroyed. Dubai sunk. He's saying this is all Hollywood production. This thing you can see I'm perfectly fine. Flights are going normal. Everyone is happy. There's just a little bit of cleaning to be done. Please don't believe. Oh man, come on. Yeah, come on. And <laughs> you know, OK, this guy didn't attack. He I understand what he's doing. He loves this country. He wants to portray a positive image. Fine. There's nothing wrong. I'm not attacking him. But what I find comedic is our Indians, Indians are like, yeah, they get so affected. They get so angered that I'm talking of apparently motherland. And uh, like that lady was saying, you know, everything is perfect. There is no water. What are you talking? I'm going outside. I cannot see any water. They cleaned up everything. I'm going to office. I'm coming back. Stop posting this way. There is no water in the UAE. No water, apparently. And then uh, she went on. I don't know why she deleted it. I wish she had kept it there. I would have shown you screenshots. OK, so now having said that, I, I have um, some people who have shared with me uh, one is audio file, some audio, uh, some photographs and some video. OK, uh, I'll be playing all three and um, and I feel the information that is mentioned here is useful for you. So what you do is listen to the audio. I would have to mask his voice so that, you know, just for his safety. OK, so let's start off with the first video. I'm going to play it on a certain volume and I hope with my little bit of editing that it comes out clear. All right. Before I play these uh, 
these audio clips i just want to share a little bit of a background this uh, individual who's there based in uae he's a businessman and he wanted to give his vehicle for repair for repair okay uh, it was submerged in the water and um, he is going to share with you what did that guy uh, the workshop guy tell him how much did it cost him for getting the vehicle out of the water what is the situation of all the vehicles in the workshop and how much are um, you you know these vehicles that uh, transport vehicles that are damaged uh, i don't know what you call that a hotline uh, uh, you know uh, 24/7 service you know rescue service or whatever so this is the outline of what he has shared he has shared four voice clips so i want you to listen to it, what he has to say and then you know maybe this information would help you and he has also given information about traveling to oman having said that let's start with video num uh, audio audio file number 1 listen to it carefully 1 2 3 hi lord good evening how are you brother hope you are safe hope you are well uh, brother i just finished watching your video about uh, that dubai rain all right so i just wanted to let you know that uh, the garage i know a garage guy which uh, i give my cars for uh, repairing and servicing so he is located in, in saniya 6 in sharjah all right so he just called me up on the next day of the rain actually one of my cars were there for repair so i just gave a night prior to the rain so he called me up uh, those guys are staying in the cars they are sleeping in the cars and uh, all a whole garage of theirs is submerged in water the cars are completely damaged one of my cars is also there but thank god it's a four wheel so i hope they won't be much damage so he just called me up there is no electricity they cannot go out for uh, buying food all right all their beds and uh, mattresses cooking items cooking gas everything is gone it's completely destroyed and uh, they don't have electricity the mobile phones they are charging in the cars parked there the customers cars all right and uh, he told me about it that the recovery uh, vehicles which usually carry the damaged uh, vehicles to the garages in all places they are charging from 500 dirhams to 1500 dirhams to carry your vehicle from the road where you have parked the engine and all that stuff is gone they are charging 500 to 1500 dirhams but the reason they are not taking your cars because where are they going to drop it all the garages which, which are located in uh, industrial areas they are completely flooded all right and uh, there is no electricity nothing nothing to eat and they cannot order from outside because usually they are uneducated kind of people you know what i'm talking about so they cannot order online all right they don't have internet the wifi is gone completely so they are completely in trouble and my garage guy told me that the car which you have given for repair it's at least going to take a month though the work is only for two or three days it's a pain job but he told me that it's going to take a month at least because it's completely flooded you cannot come here and you cannot take your car in this condition also if you want i can give it to the recovery person but he will take from sharja to badway where i stay is going to take at least 1000 dirhams to bring your car so this is the issue there and uh, they are staying in their the customers cars they are sleeping there they are charging their mobile phones in the cars and this is the situation over there okay now is audio uh, file number 2 have a listen to this oh yeah one more thing i forgot to tell you uh many people have lost their number plates i am one of them i lost my front number plate of my car so for that i had to pay though the government could have you know waived those fees is like police report and all i paid 70 dirhams for the report the online report which came to me then i had to pay 70 dirhams in the rta that's 140 but in the morning when i went there thank god i took a print out of that report the people who did not have a print out they had to go to a tire shop uh outside the this thing the marur the government office and the print out was charged 5 dirhams for one print out and usually if you i know you must be knowing that in dubai it's usually in government offices it's 1 dirham if you get it printed from outside it's 
as low as 10 fields per, per page or 25 fields per page. But they are charging five drums for one printout. Then when later you take it inside the this thing, then they, there is a special counter. They charge you five drums for I don't know what they charge. So in total, I had to pay 145 drums for a number plate, a single number plate. <coughs> So in this case, they they should have waived it as you were talking about the leadership in your video. So I thought this would be great to share with you that every number plate lost is at least going to cost you 145. If with the printout, which is way more than uh, what they usually charge, five drums per printout at a time where people have lost a lot of money and the engines which, which uh, are submerged in the cars which are damaged, at least a second and engine in Sharjah is for a Nissan Sunny. At the cost of that engine is second hand engine with a one week warranty is 3,500 dirhams. And as the car is expensive, the engine price goes high. This I'm talking about the used cars. So anyways, people have lost a lot of money. Now they are charging 145 dirhams for a single lost number plate. Okay, now let's listen to audio number three. And one more thing, the border to Oman. The border to Oman, there is only one border which is uh, allowed for the company cars right now. Uh, there are many borders, but most of them are for only for uh, private cars. Like, it's my private car, I can go there anytime. Okay, those borders are there. But there is only one border where you can go through uh, if you have a company's car. A car registered under company's name. That border is shut down. If you have a company's car and you want to go there for work or uh, sales or collection, you cannot go. That border is completely shut down. That border is located in Alain. That border's name is Khatmat al Shikla. You can note this down. This border is usually only for uh, company vehicles. It's completely shut down. Few of my friends, they wanted to go there in Oman. So they told them that the systems are not working. Systems are not working and that area is completely flooded. I have some videos, If I'll check if I have a, a shared ones. Now it's in Arabic. Those videos are from that place where this border is located. So the people told me about it. They told me at least it is going to take 10 to 15 days for that border to reopen. So anyone who has a company vehicle, most probably as per my knowledge, as I have been a frequent traveler to Oman, that border is completely shut. If you have a company's car, you cannot go to Oman for next 10, 15 days at least. So all your business for next Eid, because you know, I am a businessman. For next Eid, the business is completely blind right now. And uh, you cannot go to Oman for 10, 15 days if you have a company car. And there is no other alternative. The only alternative is uh, to go through flight. That's more expensive. And you cannot commute in within the city if you don't have your own car. So this is another issue. For a businessman, this is going to be another issue. Okay. And finally, audio number four. Acha, one more thing uh, you can share in your next video if you want to. The uh, the second hand electronic market. I wanted to buy a printer uh, printer for my son, so I have been calling the guy up since uh, four or five days. Okay, so he told me that the, there is completely water. We cannot go in our store, and maybe the electronics are completely damaged. This is the warehouse I'm talking about, where at a time there are those large printers, you know, big printers. They have at least uh, five hundred to thousand printers in that warehouse. The one which, which I'm talking about. That guy is not picking up my calls since last few days. And uh, as I believe that all his stuff is gone, all right, all his printers and all everything are completely gone. And uh, as they are second hand in good condition, so there won't be any insurance. And those warehouses, they don't have any insurance. And uh, most probably the water comes from the top also because they are completely that, uh, you know, that kacha warehouse kind of a thing. So that would be completely damaged. Poor people, you know, making day-to-day uh, -day earning, they have completely, they might have lost, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of dirhams of uh, stuff. Okay, so this is what uh, I wanted to share with you guys uh, in terms of audio. 
Now I'll just show you a few uh, uh, JPEG images that were shared. Okay, this one is uh, taken from uh, the media which I just checked. Okay, this is one photograph which uh, shows you the flooding from the top of the building. Okay, this is I think in Sarja area. Okay, uh, this I received Middle East Energy Dubai official announcement. Today we have made the incredibly difficult decision to cancel Middle East Energy 2024 in its entirety. We'll be making an official statement today. Visitors, exhibitors and contractors should not make their way to the venue at this time. And it seems that after four years or something, they, uh, you know, restarted this event and now it's a total loss. Uh, then, you know, this is a Lamborghini that is stuck in Dubai. This one was a Rolls Royce that was stuck in L Rolls Royce, Range Rover and Ferrari. All three stuck and you can make out the UAE skyline. And here are the number plates of people who have lost their number plates. I don't think they even know that their number plates exist. Okay. And finally, I'll share with you the videos that were shared to me. These are maybe you might have seen some, maybe not. But if not, here, have a look at uh, these are the videos that were shared to me. Okay. Let's let me get this properly done. Okay. One. Uh, sorry. The first one is here you go. Okay, let's get this. It's day three in Shahjah Jamal Abdul Nasser Street. That's near Al Khan. This is Al Khan for you guys. Day three. We cannot step out of our houses and uh, we're stuck. It's the same. The water is up to the chest level. Okay, that was one that I had received. This is another one. I think this is in Sarja. By the way, this is in Sarja. They're shouting for water for people to come down. Uh, this is Sarja, by the way. This is Sarja. I <laughs> okay, uh, so it seems that uh, they are driving around. I don't know, maybe these are shopkeepers. Uh, I don't think they're volunteers. They seem to be going around giving people water. This, this is a four-wheel drive. I thought they were on a boat. So this guy is actually filming as he's going around giving people water. Uh, as you can see, the floods. And this is a late, you know, I got, I got this video today. Maybe it might be a day old. So this clearly shows you that, uh, sorry, this clearly shows you that the flood is still there. I'll put it at 2x speed, so it's a little faster. So he's still talking. This is all Saja area. I'm trying to figure out where. It must be the inside areas. Uh, it's somewhere where I used to live. I have... I'm just trying to figure out where exactly. I've lived uh, in this area. Uh, 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 Sham Bad Darbar. Okay, so they're going here. Uh, they're getting more, you know, bottles and they're selling. Well, kind of enterprising for them. But obviously, I'm sure they would be selling at a premium because, you know, end of the day, it's business. And if they are taking the initiative, obviously, they should be compensated for it. So, this restaurant, Shambad, Dubai. This is in Dubai? No, man. This is not in Dubai. Uh, anyway, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh... So he's driving with this four-wheel drive. Um, it must be raised a little high, uh, by which they don't seem to be worried about water getting. I'm trying to figure out which area of Sarja this is. Because the camera keeps... Ah, yes, 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 here, 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 here. Uh, finally got it. Okay, you can see... Uh, I'll do it slowly. Uh, the mosque... Yes, yes. This is Alwada, uh, not Alwada, behind Alwada, this thing. Because they showed the Sarja Mosque. 
Not here. Uh, the Sarja Mall. See, ah, this one, this one, exactly this one. Uh, keep missing the point. But you, you, you get what I'm saying. Ah, see here. This, this is the mosque, that uh, garden that used to be there, that is there, was where I used to run around during my school days. And this is like a absolute landmark. So, okay, so they seem to be going around this area, giving people water. Um, so, yeah, and uh, I don't know, are these guys volunteers? I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, it's not in English, so I don't know. But uh, if he is doing volunteering work, then, you know, bless his soul, like, you know, Christians would say. Uh, but they seem to be a lot of four-wheel drives and a lot of them going around. So, anyway, see, even if they are selling or they are, uh, if they are doing it for free, you know, bless them. Oh, you can see these tankers that are the sewage tankers. They collect the water. This is Saja area, 100%. This is Saja area, like I told you. So, well, there are a lot of people. And for those who kept saying, oh, fake videos and this is not real. Well, how do you explain this? Uh, this is all areas where I used to hang out with, man. Hey, this, this area I know so very well. Brings back memories. But, man, uh, the supermarkets and all these places must be destroyed with the amount of water that is there. I'm just smiling. I'm not smiling. I'm, I'm not happy that, you know, these people are, uh, you know, suffering like this. I'm just smiling because it's nostalgia. All these places were where I used to stay, visit. But it's sad to see all this water. I just hope the water goes off. I think it'll, it'll would have, you know, climbed down. But then again, there is rain for another five days. I don't think it's going to be as bad as this one. But this one was pretty, ah, splash. Yes, ah, this is my area. This is my area where I used to be. Uh, my house is there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, my house is there. Now, house means I used to stay there. I used to stay there. So, yeah, nice, powerful vehicle. Uh, don't know if they were volunteers. If they were volunteers, bless them. Uh, but if they were guys who are selling, then also it's okay. At least they're doing something worthwhile. So, I have a feeling they are volunteers. I have a feeling they are volunteers. So, Wish, wishing them all the best. Okay, next one is this video. Uh, let me give you some volume. Okay, once let I'll give it volume. I'll play it on normal because I got this with a couple talking. So let's hear it out. Oh. See the poor baby. Yeah. Oh goodness. And uh, for those of you, you know, who think that I'm happy, why would I be happy seeing all this, man? I mean, it's it's a baby, it's a family, you know. Come on. Okay. Oh my God, the parking there. What about the cars? Uh Underneath the parking. Mm. Is it zero business in this Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, as you could see, it was written Jamal Al Jamal Abdul Nasser Street. It's in Sarja. And I think he's talking on the phone with a lady. So, uh, it's, it's sad, honestly. Okay, next is a 14 second video. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is a pharmacy apparently. So the second, it's a 12 second video. You know, one thing I just realized, uh, it's, it's wonderful that nobody is stealing and robbing from these places, which is 
really commendable. If it would have happened in USA, by now people would be robbing the store. So nothing but kudos to the people in UAE that they are not stealing and robbing. So next one is a one minute video. Let's see. Not too sure whether I should put volume for this or not. Okay, so here, uh, this is the Alwada Street video. Um, you can see the rainwater has come down a little bit, but cars are still on the streets. Um, yeah, this is a subway. The subway would definitely be completely flooded. I used to always travel under the subway. What is up to here? The subway is fully submerged. The cars, look at, just, just look at this, look at this. For those who are saying that I'm sharing fake videos, this is Saja Alwada Street. Look at the cars. Look at how many cars are there. So you're trying to tell me that all these images and videos are fake? Come on, man. Look at it. The whole road is filled with the vehicles. So, and these are the government buses. It's a nightmare, yeah. And um, why am I sharing this? Because uh, the UAE media is not sharing this. I mean, if they would share this, uh, all of you would be not watching my videos, right? So here's another one. This one is 1 minute 24 seconds. Um, I think it's a collage of videos. This is in Dubai. Uh, if you have a four-wheel drive, okay, you don't have anything to worry. This guy is really taking the mickey out of his vehicle. Uh, I think he manages to... Uh, get through i'll just forward it a little bit and make it a little faster wait uh sorry uh let me make it a little faster playback speed a little faster so i think this guy manages to uh he manages to wade through uh yeah he's still traveling so i think he manages to go through i don't know which vehicle is this i think it's a nissan petrol but he's lucky that his engine didn't stop because if his engine stopped he is finished uh, this is one of the, I think, Pathfinder. Yeah, Pathfinder. Lucky bugger, man. Absolutely lucky. Uh, let me get this playback normal. And, okay, wait. Let me put the next video. Uh, this, sorry, I'll just put the playback normal. And uh, this video is, I think this was uploaded on some Instagram channel. E in front of a lady's house this is and this is our house inside oh look at that dirty water oof, 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 oof. this definitely is a private villa see the sofa is destroyed and uh, outside kitchen everything is destroyed I mean how can you sit anywhere see water is flowing inside see and people are saying that i'm sharing fake videos come on man okay this one is uh, the person is talking i'll put a little bit of audio here we are driving four by four i can show you there uh, some uh, bus got stuck This is somewhere in Dubai. This is somewhere in Dubai. Okay, so this is one. <laughs> He's saying, go that way, go that way, others you will sink. Okay. Sheikh Zayed Road, Sheikh Zayed Road. Sheikh Zayed Road, okay. You can see the water, no? That side? Yeah. A lot of wind blowing. Mm, it's um, it's amazing that uh, the water is clearing off from the main road, which is good. So the sand is pulling all the water out. But uh, water is still logged in some areas. Okay. So this is one. 
Then let's go to this one. Here people are walking. I think they got down from the metro and they're going to work. Block, block, block. So these people are supposed to go somewhere. It seems something is blocked. I don't know what is blocked. Okay. And number four. Okay, this is nothing. Nothing much here. Then, uh, sorry. Last two more videos. And that's it. There is still water. There is still water in the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th lane. There is water. I think this is... It goes to business. Uh, here you can see Blue Waters Island. Oh, I didn't see that board before. Mohammed bin Rashid Al Sarja. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Then the final video. This is the video I think he is talking to me. Okay, the last one, which is forty-three seconds. No, it's like uh, more than two days. It's uh, it's uh, raining. Rain is over since two days. You can see the current situation. Still, the waters have not drained out. Look at this uh, place. Huh? I will show you the real story of like today. Huh? See, it is like a swimming pool. Okay, so I guess uh, what he's trying to tell me is there's still water logged in quite a number of areas. Okay, so you know, I, I just like to keep it as real as possible and I like to show you guys what's happening. So these are the videos that were shared with me. And uh, you know, one final thing for those of you who keep saying, you know, there's no water, there's no flood in UAE. I mean, just go to the UAE floods, okay, and just check the number of articles that are there news articles so if i'm giving you fake news where are these people getting all these articles from and then just click on images you'll get all the news outlets all of them from forbes the guardian nbc al jazeera times of israel reuters arab news business standard uh, ctv news wikipedia i mean is everyone telling lies so i leave it to your judgment if uh, you feel this is fake news and the Indians who are there in you uh, in the in UAE I don't know what gets into you man you people are mental no matter what being an Indian myself I sometimes wonder like what happens to our Indians where does the logic go do they stop thinking from the head and start thinking from the ass I really wonder sometimes Anyway, they are in constant denial. That is why no matter how much of education they have, how much of talent they have, they'll always end up getting the lowest salaries. And then they blame everyone else other than themselves. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share. Good, bad, ugly, feel free, comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'll be definitely reading your comments on this is fake news and these are fake AI generated images. All right, you guys take care. Keep me updated. Keep me posted. And I sincerely hope you guys make it through and the rains that are going to take place next five days. My feeling, my gut feeling is it's not going to be as bad as what it is now. So keep me posted, guys. This is me signing off. You guys take care. Ciao.